Hey guys, my name's Andy. I have my Balfang UV5RM here. I have the uh, Abri antenna on it right now. This is the newest Abri, 48 inch. Actually, it's uh, even longer than the 42 inch. But anyways, I ordered a discount antenna from Amazon several weeks ago, uh, maybe about a month ago. <clears throat> and I told you guys I'd put up a video of the discount and the Balfang and all that. Uh, once I have it all hooked up, ready to go. So let's take a walk out here to my truck. I'm in Ohio. It's about 44 degrees on this Sunday afternoon. Let's see. It's Sunday, February 25th. So I have a uh, 98 Chevy K1500 four-wheel drive, 33-inch tires, tow mirrors, window vents but uh right there is my new discount antenna and uh it's for my Baofeng mainly i'm about to buy a gmrs uh or amateur mobile radio to put in my truck still have some snow on the ground here but this is basically what it looks like uh I want to say it goes up like 36 inches, 38 inches. I forget the exact measurement. But it has the little guide rods that go all the way around. Um, and I drive this truck daily. This is my daily driver. So I'll hop in here. The old truck has, uh, oh, 199,000 miles on her, 199.865. So, yeah, then I have a join uh, head unit. It's an Android head unit, all touch screen. It uses Android apps. And then a little extra storage cubby here for storing things. Um, as you can see here, I took the factory center console out of my 98 Chevy and I put the center console from an 05 Chevy in here. So I have a full console, got my towing wires and winch controller and a flathead in there, some change. But uh, I have, uh, I use my Dremel, Dremel a piece out of this center console. So I can keep my Cobra 29 LTD in there. Um, and I don't use it much anymore. I got more into amateur radio than CB. So now I carry my Baofeng with me a lot. Um, and I do plan on getting a mobile amateur radio. And I'll probably end up taking this out and putting the mobile amateur radio in here. Um, I'd rather not get one of the jazzed up CBs that transmit on 10 meter and 11 meter. Uh, those are illegal. So I'm just going to go to amateur radio from CB. I uh, just put my information into the FCC to get my GMRS license. And uh, I'm currently working on um, my getting my tech license through the FCC. I'm studying to get my tech ham license. So anyways, I carry my Baofeng with me in my truck every day on the way to work, on the way home, and just kind of listen to things when I'm out and about. And if you take the Abri antenna off of this, let me unscrew the Abri here. Kind of hard to do all this one-handed, but uh, I hope everybody's enjoying their Sunday here. This is the uh, newest Abri. I just got it in the mail yesterday from Amazon. And I'm really actually liking it. But uh, 
So I have the disc cone antenna up on the roof. It connects here. And then it comes out to the SMA female. And I'll set you down for a moment. Hook up the SMA female here. Hook it up to the bow thing without hitting my transmit button. <laughs> All right. So the bow thing is hooked up to my mini disc cone antenna. And I got the mini disc cone on Amazon. It's a gable mini disc cone. Um, there's not a lot of people active today. Thunderstorms. Breezy with highs in the mid That's the NOAA weather for uh, Northeast Ohio. I have Wayne County Amateur Radio Club programmed into this Silver Creek Amateur Radio Club. Uh, International Space Station down, down link. Army National Guard operations. Uh, CAC Tower is Akron Canton Airport out here in Canton, Ohio. It's in North Canton. The uh, clearance for Akron Canton. Approach and departure, alternate channel, final approach, ground, uh, the uh, Akron Canton ATIS channel. I think ATIS is uh, the weather channel for the airport that um, tells planes and everything what the weather's like here in the area. And approach. Uh, 147,390 is also for Silver Creek. Amateur Radio Association. But anyways, yeah, it hooks up to uh, hooks up to my antenna that's on top of the truck, the mini disc tone. And generally, I receive a lot more frequencies um, when people are actually talking. Through the day. So there it's on GMRS 20, uh, GMRS channel 20. Um, and I'm picking up somebody from the mini discount on top of, uh, on top of the truck. And again, this is the uh, this is the UV five RM here in Ohio in the United States. It works pretty darn good. I'm on uh, medium power there for the GMRS twenty. Yeah, this antenna on top of the truck works very well. It's more for receiving. Uh, <clears throat> disc tone antennas aren't made a lot for transmitting. They're more for receiving. So um, if you guys are looking for a good receive and transmit antenna for GMRS, I would suggest looking up KB9VBR uh, J-Pole antennas. J-pole antennas work awesome. Um, there's also other antennas out there that work really well that you can use with the bow fangs. Uh, bow fangs have spurious emissions or spurs in their wavelengths. So you really got to watch transmitting on medium and high power. Uh, most of them should be stuck to low power. But anyways, this antenna works great with the bow fang. As you can see here, it's still uh, receiving signals on GMRS 20. And uh, the mini disc cone on Amazon, it's a Gable, G-A-B-I-L, mini disc cone antenna. 
check it out if you want to uh, get some better signal. It's more for receiving than transmitting, but I don't mind. I just kind of listen when I'm driving. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And uh, oh, here's one more attachment I have that I just got in the mail today. I also have an RTL SDR, Software uh, Distinguished Radio. And all it is, the RTL SDR actually is, I have it in the house. This is a UHF female connector. So I can also connect it to this. And um, this will connect to the RTL SDR that I have in the house. And let me receive on frequencies from that. And I can plug my RTL SDR directly into one of the USBs that comes off the back of my radio. Um, and I have three USB cords here that I can use. One, two, and the third is hooked into uh, my phone jack right now. So, yeah, it's um, it's interesting. I'm, I'm going to try the RTL SDR here in the truck as it gets way more frequencies than the Baofeng even gets. Uh, but yeah, that's a wrap, basically. I have the Balf I have two Baofengs, I have a UV5R, and I have the UV5RM now. The 5RM gets way more frequencies than the normal 5R. And then the RTL SDRs, uh, which, is, which this is for, I'll be able to hook this up to the RTL SDR and uh, it'll go to my antenna on top of the truck as well. And I'll be able to like type in, go to the RTL SDR app on my join Android radio here and uh, like type in whatever frequency I want and it'll use the antenna on top of the truck. So kind of interesting. Um, I'm getting into this more and more. I have a tiny spectrum analyzer in the house and a, uh, a tiny SW33 uh, SWR meter. So, yeah, again, guys, uh, look up, uh, if you're interested in more amateur radio stuff, look up uh, S RTL SDRs. Um, you can connect them to, like, Android tablets, Android phones, um, Windows computers, Mac computers, um, and then look up uh, the mini disc cone antennas for these. I mean, I got some adapter cords to uh, adapt my Baofeng to the mini disc cone on top of my, my truck here, and it works great. The mini disc cone antenna is wonderful. Um, I'm really glad to have it. So uh, now I'm getting into J-pole antennas, and I'll probably do a video uh, once I have a J-pole and I'll do it here in my front yard. Uh, my front yard out here is pretty large. So we're on two acres of property here in Ohio. But uh, you, I don't think anyone's ever had a J-pole on top of a vehicle. That would be kind of odd, actually. So I'll make another video once I have the J-pole and get everything hooked up and start transmitting with the J-pole. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Uh, give it a thumbs up. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.